Are you ready for five science titles? Welcome back. If you are new here, this series I am giving you a starting place for various subjects if you are looking to try something new for next year for whatever reason. As you know, if you go looking for a new curriculum, it can be overwhelming because there's so much out there. So, in the series for each subject, I'm just giving you five titles that vary a little bit in the type um, and might be a good place for you to just start, see what you like from there, what you don't like about each one, and then move on to find your perfect fit. Oh, and I'm Trisha. I'm a homeschooling mom to three kids. This is our 10th year of homeschooling. Um, so if you are new here, I'd love for you to hit subscribe and uh, welcome. So, science. Five titles. First one is Noyo Science. Um, this is a classical science or classical, um, a classical schooling style of science. That was a lot to say. Um, I really like this. We used, this is biology, and we used this, I don't remember, several years ago. I, I really like it. Um, it uses, we actually use this in conjunction with Mr. Q's science. I didn't even think about that for this, for this series. I have a video about Mr. Q's science, so I will link that, um, as well. But, um... So classical, in its um, approach, it is easy, straightforward. Um, you're going to spend, um, I, we spent an hour and a half to two hours a week, if you follow just what they have in here, um, doing it. Um, they use, there's labs type activities in here and then other activities, and it uses, um, Usborn, Usborn, I never know how to say that. If you know the official answer, leave, leave me a comment down below. Um, anyway, it uses their science books for it. I think it is... I have tried a few different um, classical science programs. And this is the one that I prefer over the others. Mostly because... I really like the teacher's guide. It's written just in a way that makes sense to the way my brain works. Um, some of the other ones we've tried, it just not This is the instructor's guide that I find the easiest to do. And we all know that those little things sometimes can make or break a curriculum for us. Um, so they have, their, and these are um, like a span of ages. And they have different levels, um, and it's broken down by chemistry, physics, biology. Um, I think there's astronomy one is separate. I'm not sure about that. Anyway, I think it's a really good one. Um, I have the print, the printed for the instructor's guide, and I think I just used. I think I bought an ebook of the student version. I couldn't find anything when I went looking. Um, on my bookshelf, so I'm thinking I must have used that, or the I must have had an ebook of it. Number two, Real Science Odyssey. This is another one by by Pandia Press. I mentioned Pandia Press's history program in my history video. Um, it is another classical one, and I am actually considering this one for next year too. I mentioned in that video that I was considering the history. I think we've scrapped that. It was going to be for my high school, but I think we've, we're going to move on from that. But anyway, the science one I am considering next year for my boys. As I said, another classical one, again, broken down by um, general topic like biology or there's earth science and they have astronomy and there's three different levels with it as well. Both that one and Noyo has a have a lot of um, labs and hands-on activities, an emphasis on vocabulary and some process things. And I do want to mention that Noeo is written from a neutral stance, which depending on which camp you're in, Christian or secular, I know how neutral <laughs> plays out in both of those, but um, so take that knowledge with what you want. Um, 
it worked for us. We just supplemented in where we wanted to add from missing topics. Um, uh, Real Science Odyssey, though, is a secular program. So, um, next one is CPO Science. We did this two years ago, and I love it. It is, as you can see, a textbook. Um, it is used in public schools, so finding the book may be more difficult for you. You can find it sometimes used on Amazon. I bought it used from someone on the Well-Trained Mind classified, Well-Trained Mind Board's classified section. And I really like it. It is textbook, but it is a really engaging textbook. Um, there are good activities in it. There, they do a lot of real world application for physics, so I really enjoyed that um, because it made it, well, it, real world. They, my kids learned how how it's used in real life, not only in like, you know, as far as like cars go, but like jobs and that sort of thing. The, there are different like subsections within each chapter and there are questions at the end, there is a teacher's guide to go along with it, and online you can find worksheets and labs to go along with it. Um, the labs that they suggest do, or some of the labs they suggest do require um, equipment that you might have if you worked at a public school, but not in your home, and is costly to do. So we just adapted and chose which ones we wanted to do, and that sort of thing. I really really like this one and we will be using it um sorry my dog's over here <laughs> scratching she's got terrible seasonal allergies if you have a dog with skin allergies and have any tips let me know we're struggling um the pine we have pine trees anyway we think that's what it is and i can hear my boys playing over at the neighbor's house so i'm a little distracted I, and in the day i do apologize really i'm I try to be more focused than what I am today. Anyway, CPO Science I think is a great alternative, a great option. It is a middle school and high school level. So, and it's not clear, it's kind of hard to tell which ones are for which level and they're not, a, they're just not clearly labeled. But we use this one for um, my daughter in middle school. She was seventh grade. She was seventh grade, and then my boys were elementary, and I just brought them along with us, um, and it worked out well for us. So, I think this is a really great um, option for physics. I don't think they make them for any other subject, any or like any other type of like chemistry or biology, but I can't say that for sure. I can say that their physics one is really good. And the next one is Ellen McHenry, and she has several different products for different science topics. We've used her chemistry products and they're really good. The um, elements, put the elements in a story form to help kids understand and retain the information about the elements. Um, they were characters in a, the different elements were characters in a story. And she has activities to go along with it. And you know that I am not someone who likes a bunch of activities and things I have to cut out and print, but hers were really good and I felt they were worth it. She has other science topics as well. She has some biology. We, I purchased her botany and we will be using that one um, next spring. You can buy them um, as eBooks and you can also buy them, um, the printed copies of them. Great courses in my next one. You may or may not know this country, this company. If you have an older child, you proud, you may do it because you start hearing about it more as your kids get into middle school and high school. They are lectures, college level lectures, on just about any topic you can imagine. On Audible, you can find their audio versions of them and then you can get the video ones as well. Um, check your library. If you have Hoopla, you may check there too. My library limits us to four lectures of a month like eat we, we can get check out four videos and each lecture is considered a video so um, not each series so if you want to use them if you're going to use them as part of your curriculum you'll want to be mindful of that we have a subscription you can get it through amazon prime but we just went directly through the great courses plus website 
Anyway, their programs are really good. And yes, they are by college lectures, but <laughs> they're not necessarily all inaccessible to younger learners. We will, my daughter's biology next year will be built around these. Um, so I think for an average high school student, they're pretty accessible. But my boys even, they are, let's see, they're finishing up grades three and five, and they really enjoy many of them. There are, like I said, the lecture ones, but then there are also some that are put out by um, National Geographic. My boys especially love those. They are, of course, they're just in line with normal National Geographic videos. So they're super accessible even to kids. And some of the lecture ones they enjoy and, um, yeah, they enjoy going through. Right now my third grader is watching one about the mad math of magic I think is what it's called um, there are some gardening ones sustainable agriculture my fifth grader has gone through that so there's a lot um, that you can um, that may be accessible for even if you have younger learners now if I ha only had younger learners I'm not sure I would want to pay a monthly subscription to it so um, kind of check that but um, oh, Amazon Prime has some, as yeah, in their video section they have some lectures as well. And the availability, the choices on that vary. Um, but yeah, they're just a great thing, especially if you have, um, if you are, have kids who are really science obsessed or older kids, I think they're great for the, um, the lecture ones, I don't know about like the National Geographic ones, but the lecture ones include, you can print out a ebook to go with it that's kind of a transcript of what they're saying, and then there are a couple questions, some that are kind of a short answer, and then some that would be more of a paragraph. So that will be what my daughter will use for some of hers. She'll you know, have some writing to do after she watches each lecture. So those are my five to try science titles. See you over in the next video.